welcome to the video about how to store your wine. Um, if you don't have a nice uh, underground wine cellar, which I'm lucky enough to have, um, there are certain rules that you absolutely have to abide by if you want to store your wine correctly. And if you don't store it correctly, the wine won't age uh, the way it should. So let's take temperature first. A classic wine cellar is about 12 degrees centigrade, about 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Many people who have a purpose-built wine cellar have it temperature controlled day in, day out to that. And what you must avoid is height variations. So another reason that you should not store your wine in the kitchen is that the kitchen will be very hot when you're cooking and not so hot when you stop cooking. And so temperature as near to 12 degrees regular as you can get it, but between say 8 and 15, that's fine. The next thing is humidity. All good cellars have to have a certain amount of humidity because if you don't have humidity, the cork will actually dry out. The wine should, by the way, be served on their sides lying down. It doesn't matter so much with screw cap because no air can get in. Absence of light. Any strong light, or really any light at all, but any strong light will change the color. It'll darken the color of a white wine and it'll lighten the color of a red wine. So obviously you have to have lights in your cellar, but the cellar should be as dark as it can be. This means that alternatives to cellar in any normal flat or house would be a cupboard, uh, a little cupboard under the stairs, or somewhere where there's no light at all. General movement. Once you store your wines, if it's a wine which needs 3, 4, 10, 15 years to age, it should move as little as possible. And I have wines in my cellar where I've lived uh, in the same house for 22 years. Some of the wines haven't moved for 20 years, and they're in perfect shape. If you're not lucky enough to have a nice underground um, cellar, you can actually build one in the sense that there are these circular cellars which can be built under your kitchen, sitting room, in the hall, and uh, they'll go down under your house uh, with a, a diameter of about uh, six feet, and you store wines all around it going down the staircase. Otherwise, there's the classic Euro carve, which just like, looks like a big fridge in smaller or bigger sizes. And that is temperature controlled, slightly cooler at the bottom for champagnes and slightly warmer at the top for the red wines. And those will store the wines perfectly. The very simple thing is just to have a wine rack, any wine rack in which you slot the wines in. And you just put your wine rack in a cupboard or somewhere where it's out of the way. So the key things, temperature, as cool as possible, uh, as dark as possible, and as quiet as possible. And with a little bit of humidity, if possible, that that's not essential. <laughs>